So here at Bridgewood, uh, we are a unique site. So the kindergarten is actually within the school. We have maternal and child health nurses across, just across the hallway from us as well as Monash Health who come in and do facilitated playgroups and um, Mother Goose programs. Our place, the Coleman Foundation, uh, another key stakeholder on the side, they support us with community events and developing programs that can support every child. So we physically share a planning space with the foundation teams. Uh, each afternoon we'll sit in there, we'll do our kindergarten programming, the foundation teachers will be doing their programming alongside us and we'll overhear conversations, we'll share our knowledge, we'll share our ideas and we'll discuss the differences in our pedagogy. Last year we worked quite closely with the uh, foundation team and the principal and the vice principal in order to ensure that all of our children that um, were going to require additional support entering foundation had that support. Children often go to school and they have to wait three months before they can access extra support whether that be an additional staff member or funding for the school. Working in a space like this we are able to support these children and ensure that they get the best out of their learning journey. We're creating a buddy system where the children will each have a buddy in foundation. They'll move through to the foundation space and take part in structured play-based experiences in order to support their learning. By being a part of the foundation space on a weekly basis, the children begin to identify with the space. They're able to be autonomous, have agency and really understand or begin to be aware of what happens within those spaces. Priscilla's strength is relationships, not only building relationships with children and families, but with the team that she works with. She always shows respect empathy and care towards the people around her. Priscilla always is willing to go out of her way to help others. She works tirelessly to support educators in and out of the room and to ensure they continue to build their skills and upgrade their knowledge by encouraging them to do further qualifications and study. We provide learning opportunities for all staff that inspire and challenge them so that they can learn to their fullest potential. I am the person that I am today because of all the skills that she has passed down to me. The attributes of a strong team leader are they need to be a good listener, flexible and collaborative. Priscilla is all of these things. When I'm having a discussion with a colleague, I always make sure that I give them my undivided attention. I also try to provide them with feedback so that they can go and reflect. I also make sure that I respond to all needs appropriately. I provide guidance. I motivate my staff, provide emotional support, and I also believe that being a role model plays a very big part. Priscilla has been an amazing role model, not only for myself, but for the whole team at Thinking Kids. Her confidence and passion is what strives us to succeed. Thinking Kids Early Learning Centre flooded at the end of the year in the week leading up to Christmas. During this time, children and families had to be placed in other early learning centres and educators also had to be placed to provide consistency and security and stability for all of the families having to go to other services. During this time, Priscilla maintained constant communication and support, not only to the families and children, but to the educators that were working in new services. Having put these strategies into place and having Nick, Shannon and Aisha support through this whole ordeal, I do believe it has made us a stronger and more cohesive team than ever. Um, most of our families are from culturally diverse backgrounds, lots of vulnerable families, new arrivals to kindergarten, um, lots of different backgrounds. Many families don't speak English, so um, having some staff available to help them fill in the forms correctly uh, is of great benefit to the families. We also have many bilingual staff here, so if we have staff that speak Arabic, Hindi, Punjabi, 
and Urdu. So as the children don't speak English, simple routines like washing your hands and going to the bathroom, getting your snack, can be quite difficult. So the staff use lots of visuals within the rooms just to support these children through transitions. Last year we applied for a language program, so we invited our families through a survey to give us feedback on what language they would like implemented here and then we submitted the application. We were so excited to find out that we were successful in that application, which means for us this year that we have a bilingual teacher in an additional teacher in every classroom for 12 hours of contact every week. As we have a lot of Punjabi families and children at this service, the Punjabi language program has really allowed them to feel safe and comfortable uh, to speak their first language within the kindergarten program. Uh, and for the children that don't speak Punjabi as a first language, we've really noticed them engaged with this um, and learning a few words, which can really help them to be connected with each other. Our rooms have 33 children in, in the kinder groups and a lot of these children have needs so needs of trauma, complex medical needs, additional needs. And that requires us as educators to have a really well-rounded knowledge of uh, the signs to look for um, and how to approach families about this. Working in this way has really allowed children of all abilities to reach goals that have been set for them um, and to get the best they can out of the kindergarten program. To support transition to primary schools, educators often facilitate meetings with local primary schools, specialist schools or other institutions. We often accompany them, uh, the families on tours uh, and relaying a lots of information between the families and the school to ensure that the child um, has a smooth transition. We had a call from council regarding last year saying that there were two children that would be starting with us at the beginning of fourth term and that they were quite vulnerable and disadvantaged and the mother had passed away quite suddenly and unexpectedly. When they started with us they didn't have any of their vaccination uh, details translated from, from Malaysia so we spoke to the council and said in order to support them we feel this is just an administrative task that we can take off their hands that would actually be very helpful for them. So the council were able to do that. And a couple of weeks in, into that, working with this new family, Tuti, my co-educator, was speaking to the older girls when they came to pick up the younger child and asked them where the two middle children were going, what school they were attending. And they commented that the two school-aged children were in fact at home, not being eligible to attend school due to the visa they were on. So I spoke to the school next door and told them about the circumstances. Um, and whilst they're not zoned for that school, the school assured me that given the special circumstances, they would do everything they could. And within a week, both those children were at school, which was a great outcome. The other thing we did was arrange funding through two community grants for the four older children to go to two camps during the Christmas holidays. And again, their father was wrapped because they were able to get out, make new friends, not have the responsibility of what they were dealing with at home. We, we started out with a family that were quite vulnerable and had a lot of issues that we were able to help them with. Between all the staff here we were all able to identify different needs, whether it was photos or children that weren't in school, etc. and get together and work with the preschool field officer, the school and the council and the chaplain, bring in all the support services that we can access to ensure we help the family and empower them to put them in the strongest position to help and support their children.